Hello and welcome back to another episode of JK2. And today, after Jen's video about the Backman brake vans went quite uh, popular, we got a lot of comments saying that the vans were rather shiny. And yes, out of the box they are. But Jen has brought today a quick tip, and I think you'll like, for dulling that down and making them blend in far more with your existing rolling stock. So today, in our first quick tips, Let's see how Jen does it. If the super shiny finish is something that uh, you think is just a little bit too overpowering, then you can use a product such as the matte coat from Humbrol, and we can just weather that down, make it nice and matte. It's just simply a case of painting this on. I've given the um, matte coat a chance to dry and unfortunately, and I've, I've got to confess here, I made a bit of a boo-boo and I didn't actually mix it properly. Now that jar's been hanging about for quite some time and um, it's produced some weird patterns on this and that's my own fault for not mixing it properly. But I did then mix it and I applied it to another brake van and you can see that it's muted this down to a much more almost satin finish, which is much more in keeping with the rest of uh, the rolling stock that you will probably have on your layout. And compared to a model here, which has not had the matte coat applied, you can see the difference that it makes to the roof there. There's a real shine on the uh, un matte coated wagon and the one that has the matte coat there is still a shine but it's much more muted so definitely this is something you can do to these models to uh, just improve that shiny finish okay i think you'll agree that was a pretty smart quick tip and thank you very much to jen for doing that i think you could uh, really go to town on this a little bit of weathering after they've been muted down will go a long way too. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, remember to click that like button, share it with your friends so that they'll know some quick tips when they see them. And do remember to like, comment and subscribe because that always helps the channel out. But until next time, this has been JK2 and we'll see you next time. I'd like to thank everybody over on Patreon and an extra special huge thanks goes out to our Patreon heroes. Without you guys over on Patreon, we really wouldn't be able to keep making the video content that you see on this channel. And don't forget that you can also head on over to patreon.com slash Jennifer Kirk and check out the different tiers of rewards. Thank you so, so much. You are absolute legends.